Hi everyone, it's Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils. Um, today's video is going to be with the beautiful Heart Mandela and it's a demonstration that I did on her Chanda recently and it's just the most beautiful finish that you can get with using our stencil mediums and our mica powders and then just putting a heat gun to it and it will react for you. So let's uh, go ahead and let's show you. So let's move this out of the way. So let me get comfy. So we're using our tools as always. So a magnetic sheet, our spreaders, our palette knives, stencil tape. Always those, um, never changes. So pop those to one side. I've got a piece of cardstock, uh, 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters. And I've got the beautiful Heart Mandela stencil. Um, doesn't show it very well on camera, um, but that's the joy of metals. So let's center that for you. Lovely. So let's screen off. Oh, we're doing it again. Let's, uh, forgotten. That's so. Because we're using micas, almost forgot, you need to anti-static your card. This is the second time that I've had to do this demo today because I've forgotten. So frustrating as well. Right, lovely. I'll explain why the anti-static in a second. Let's just get this popped down for you. Try not to go OTT and get your powder everywhere because your tapes then won't stick. Um, they won't stick to your mat and you need them to stick and hold it down to your mat. So reason for anti-static is because we're working with mica powder and mica powder will grip to everything. So it's a lot harder to get your micas off your cardstock. So it's creating a barrier for you. So there we go. So let's make sure that's lovely screened off. So as I said, we're going to go in with the gold pearl. It's one of my favorites. The pearl range are in the sweet poppy dimensions i find really do bubble beautiful our mica powders we're going with gold pearl um aquarius and brush bronze if you've got a green evergreen dark green that will work as well for you if you took that away and you put an orangey color in you'll get a real metallic -y finish as well so play around with your mica powders that you've got our micas are very different to what's on the crafting industry. They have no binder inside them and we choose them this way because the binders will stop the heat um, of the medium giving you this texture. So it's really, really important that, um, you know, you can get this bubble texture. There we go. Right, so we're using a heat gun and it's the snipe nosed one. I like the wire ones, they're just my personal preference. You can't really use one of these because what happens is because of the nose on them, it sort of spreads the heat instead of directs the heat in one place. Um, so we find that the hairdryer ones don't work as well for this particular technique. So, gold pearl, as you can see, it's beautiful pearly color and it dries a real nice colour as well. So we're going on and there's a lot on there, but it's going to allow you to work a lot quicker as well. Little brush for my micas. So we're going on and up. Back in your pot so you've not hurt it. Try and keep your pots nice and clean. I'm really bad for mine. And up, back in. Taking off, off, back in. These are going to go straight into water, or if you've got a wet cloth handy, then give them a wipe over with a wet cloth. Try and keep the rims of your pots clean as well, um, because otherwise you're going to get bits in them. So we're taking off, gently pulling it away. Lovely. Lovely. So we are lifting up and off and that's perfect straight into water with your tools lovely Fab. so get rid of our magnetic sheet we don't need that oops get rid of the wrong thing in with 
bit of copy paper. Lovely, still in shop. So we're going to go in with the colours. So I'm going in with my Aquarius. I'm sure it's called Aquarius. Yes, it is called. I'm dating what it's called now. And then we're going to go in with the brush bronze. One of my favourites brush bronzes. Excuse the noise in the background. We're in the warehouse. There we go. And then again. And again. So we've got a nice bit of colour on there. So what we're going to do is, if you've got white card, what you do is you'd immediately flick it over like that. Typical, all day it's been quiet. There we go. There we go. And we're going to spread this mica around bit by bit. It'll turn. There we go. So let's get some more mica this side. Fab, some more mica, and more mica. Lovely. Okay. So you can leave your pearl paste to come through. It's fine. I'm just choosing to cover it all. So I'm just going to take a nice shot and just flick it over the bin before I start heating it. So give it a good old flick. There we go. And that's what you're after at the moment. Okay. So heat gun on, get it to the highest heat. And you need to heat it up. Lovely. So let's see if we can get this in shot. Um, so wait for it to start bubbling. So I'm just going to stand up a second see if I can catch this in camera. So we're heating, moving it. You can overcook it, so you want to just make sure that you can sit, leave it for a few seconds. Mind your fingers, because you're heat them to very hot. It's harder to get your mouthpiece off um, white and clean card than what it is off black card. So try and keep the card soft as clean as possible. If I'm shaking your mouthpiece off with um, a white card, flick it over and flick it back. So flip it that way rather than tapping it to the side. So I'm now heating inside it. So I'm, I'm heating the back of the card now. So I'm just trying, trying to dry the paste as much as possible, but without overcooking it. If you overcook it, when you start to clean it off, it'll start flaking off. One of these techniques, the more you do, the, the better you'll get at it. Here we go. And if you're not sure, leave it, keep to one side, leave it for about quarter an hour, half an hour, and then give it a polish. If you're not sure if you've cooked it enough. So I'm just catching. Um, lovely. So, tea towel down. And we're popping it down so best tools for cleaning at the moment are these we are having some special brushes coming in which are going to be fabulous 
So all I'm doing is I'm cleaning off and I'm cleaning off, excuse the dogs in the warehouse now. And we're cleaning off, moving it to one side, cleaning off. And you've got to keep moving it. Your micas otherwise will just get going from side to side and it'll take you a lot longer to clean them. So I'm just going to go in with a clean brush. Clean up your brush. So you need a nice soft brush that will just catch it and take all the residue off. These ones are your um, decorating brush. This is just a lovely big blending brush. But as I said, we've got some big blending ones coming in for you very, very soon in a few weeks. So there you go. So you can see how fabulous that is. The shine that you can get on it. and the dimension as well if when you go like that it really starts flaking and cracking it means you've overcooked it so just squish your bubbles if that's the case there you go so i hope you enjoyed that technique there we go all you're going to do is a little bit of mountain mountain and uh, matting and layering um but there you go